Yes. Okay, good. So Are now, you, you? why is it not showing here? I don't know. Trying to see if that picture saved. Well, I can well, go big. for some carne asada. You can go for some carne asada. Yep. That's random. Did you see a picture of one or something? Or? Yes. <laughs> I follow, huh, so good. I follow this awesome guy. His name is Sam the Cooking Guy. He's on YouTube. Great channel. Um, he's very like laid back, but very like, you know, straight to the point. It's kind of awesome, and he does these awesome recipes. Um, I followed his recipe for um, what kind of chicken is that? Beer can chicken. And it was delicious. Can chicken or beer can chicken? Beer can chicken. Beer can chicken. Yes. Oh, God. That, that is, is what I should have clicked. Forgot to watch that. Oh. What did you forget to watch? Aquaman? Some trailer dropped <laughs> today. Black Widow. Hear me? Yeah, there was a black black white drop that dropped like eight hours ago today. Eight hours ago, let's watch it together and do a uh, reaction together. It's fake. Is it, is it fake? What? What? Huh? What's fake? Is it fake or what's fake? Um. Okay. What are you, question? What are you talking about? What's fake? Black Widow trailer. Is it a fake? You no. said what, what, what? No, it's not fake. And now, do the a moment you've all been waiting for. Yeah. Marvel That's Studios' what going, Black what, Widow. What? Enjoy this <laughs> special look. I've lived a lot of lives. Doing this? Cherry. I'm running from my past. Cherry is Tom Holland. But he's going to be that one for us. Uh, I was an assassin. All right, let's Black Widow trailer two months ago, one year ago, one year ago, one month ago. Not seeing a new one. So let's do a filter. Uh, filter. This is all a year ago. That's weird. Today? Here we go. Ten hours ago. Ooh. This is real. Yep. Eight hours ago. Bam, bam, bam. Official teaser. Okay, you want to start from the very beginning? Um, I'm in a Bitcoin eToro Jesus commercial. Christ. One second. I had to pick the right one. Is I this picked the, is uh, this the, the I, IGN one. IGN one, yeah, with Scar Joe at the very beginning. I'm not going to play the sound because I'm just like, whatever. You can listen to it to yourself. So, Tell me when. Longest. Oh, I thought you were going. Okay, ready? One. Oh, man. Two. <laughs> three. Go. The moment you've been all been waiting for. We're going to do to do. I can somehow hear it on yours. <laughs> I think this is going to be good, man. Uh, like John Goodman? Yes, like John Goodman. It's all the uh, old stuff and the new stuff. God, I wonder how... I, mm, I we already know who I wonder if they explain Yelena... Oh, they added a ha. <laughs> nice, yeah. <laughs> and they, re I hope they really, really go into Taskmaster. It stinks like Did I'm. I'm, say... I'm, go ahead. I'm kind of scared, like that. This is Taskmaster's be one off. Black Widow, Black Widow. Spirit July 9th. Heck yeah, July 9th. Man, we're almost. Okay, we're so there. We're there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when this goes on podcast tomorrow, it'll be five weeks from then. So, all right, I think we've done pretty long enough. I'm ready to go. Bro. Man, Black Widow. I'm ready to talk about some cool stuff or some not cool stuff. Maybe depends. Uh, we will see, won't we? How? Does... <laughs> that, 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 huh? 
Are you rewatching it again? <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, I'm going to nitpick that. <laughs> like, say it's, say it's a rated R movie. She's not going to say, ha. She's going to be like, F you or something. Like, you know, just. I well, don't know. it's probably a, uh, it's not, that's not a red band trailer. That's a, you know, for everyone trailer. No, so. I know. It's, it's not going to be rated R, but anyway. I don't know. That is kind of funny, though. Ha. Are you ready? Sure. Let's, let's do this. Ha. Ha. Good evening, everybody. This is the movie review, episode number 14. Got two brothers. Wondering, do Atlanteans ever get tired of sushi? I'm one of your hosts, Charlie Zarsuela, and one with my brother, Josh Henderson. Josh, what's up, man? There's no need to be crabby about it. But anyway, I, you know what? That's a great question. Do they get tired of sushi? They're in water. Can they actually cook it? Hmm. We'll find out on this episode of Movie Review. <laughs> yes, two brothers giving their brotherly take on movies that they love from uh, today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Um, man, yeah, I am. This is part two of our DC doubleheader this week. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like doing these like really, really short, short snippet stuff. Um, the DC EU <laughs> air horn. The we did. Wonder Woman 84 a couple days ago and now we're going to jump into Aquaman this week or this week today um that's a nice little background I had to find one with a whole bunch of sharks and stuff like that so um but yeah uh just going through a little housekeeping I am again your host Charlie Zarsuela I'm at Charizard 81 you can find me on Twitch Instagram and Twitter my brother which is this is showcasing and premiering on YouTube and He's on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Like, subscribe, and follow us, please. We appreciate any and all that come our way, as well as hashtag movie review. Search for One Google thing, for make sure you comment all below. access to our stuff. Yeah, drop some comments below. I'll answer them. My brother will answer them, definitely. Um, totally, yeah. This is the Aquaman uh, review. I know that we're a little late to the party at least i am god this movie came out in 2018 what was i doing Better in late 2018 than never. what was i doing in 2018 I'm trying to remember uh your son was two he was turning two um we had a cool birthday party i think i remember that but uh, yeah just going through the motions enjoying some uh the life liberty and pursuit of happiness i guess um brother been doing all right this week oh yeah uh just a heads up for you movie review fans make sure you check out the premieres coming up on youtube with the recent episodes You're getting <gasps> updated yay <laughs> oh yeah we're there oh, and they're coming out Ooh. finally <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're going to come out slowly but surely, but each day. We're not going to do it all in one swoop. We're going to do it one by one each day. It's going to be fantastic. Be sure to comment below. Make some, you know, a comment. What do you want us to watch? What do you think we shouldn't have watched? Just let us know. Why Josh should Either watch way. Heat? Um... <laughs> He's heating up. Why he hasn't watched the other two John Wick movies. Um, hmm. What else can we go on? Hmm. Hmm. I don't have anything. Should watch all the Alien versus Predator. Oh, dude, don't. Okay, so we got Sturm in the chat already. He is uh, friendly trolling. <laughs> Sturm, <laughs> come on, rage. man. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, as an aside, I know we're 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 gonna go uh, straight into Aquaman in just a sec, but. <laughs> Those you movies, those Wick, movies should Mr. not have John been PG thirteen. 
You misspelled John, brother. No, he didn't. John Wick has an H in it. Hum bop bop. Hum bop bop. It's got an H. I was right. J O H N. Well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am right. It's amazing you can spell it and not watch it anyway. I've seen the first one. Again, it's amazing you can spell it. I watched. Miss the other two. (laughs) I watched the Bobon scene. I know. Sturm Rage, man. Why haven't you watched two and three? Come on, bro. Let's instigate. It's called time. Uh, stop watching Godzilla versus Kong. You've already seen it 15 times. Come on. Anyway. I don't watch it anymore. Can't watch it. Oh, I know. Like, if, if it were to come back on, I would definitely watch it again. But, give it time. Um, yeah, give it time. A little bit of time. Not much news this week. I mean, there really, really, really wasn't anything going on that really, really... Hit the yeah, I talked about the Eternals trailer, didn't I? <laughs> oh, jeez, again. I mean, it, it's an eternal joke. What do you want to talk about? It's, it's gonna be never ending. <laughs> I would be eternally grateful if we stopped talking about it. <laughs> oh boy. Well, just watch. Burn up, burn up. John, watch John Wick two, and I'll stop. Um. Yes, let's go into Aquaman. Um, I'm, I'm I've been jonesing and ready to dive into this since about five minutes before the Mavericks won the game last night so um you know i didn't go to bed <laughs> at, at, at a timely manner last night because i'll tell you this much aquaman let me give you my early impressions before i like dive into this i thought he was a bit character that was kind of added to justice league this was obviously before Snyder cut. I like Jason Momoa. Like, I like him a lot. Like, I thought he was really, really good as Dra- Drago. Um, Count Drogo. Sorry, not Drago. He was not. Special. Drago, Drago. is in this movie, by the way. I was going to say, Drago is in this movie. Um, and the Green Goblin. There are so many people in this movie. Mm. <laughs> No, there, there's a lot of stars in this movie. I was kind of surprised um, when uh, I kind of like kind of scanned the cast a little bit because all of a sudden like it, it started becoming one of those movies where I'm like, oh, I know that guy. Like, oh, dude, Patrick Wilson's in this. OK, like, holy crap, that's, you know, that's Drago or whatever. And, you know, it just kept going, go going down the line. I'm like, <laughs> Randall Park, why are you in a DC movie? I don't know what you're doing, bro. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I thought he was a bit character in uh, Justice League, and when they said they were coming out with this Aquaman movie, you know, you saw the first trailer, and I was like, "Damn, all right, I'm in. Like, I'm gonna watch this." Totally didn't watch it. Like, you know, three years later, kind of fell by the wayside, and uh, I am not to uh, uh, pull the cart in front of the horse already. I am very, very disappointed in myself that I didn't watch this movie earlier. Um, how disappointing like i mean it's it's you know this this movie was um this movie was something else bro i i you know i it's hard to put it in a pecking order in regards to like the superhero movies that i've watched um especially like you know amongst the mcu movies but this one uh surprisingly you know I would like to say cracks my top six, maybe. Of superhero movies or DCEU or modern superhero movies or single superhero movies? Um, modern superhero movies. Uh, <laughs> like you're like filtering that sucker down. I'm like DC. Okay. Single. Okay. I, I get what you're doing. I get what you're saying. Like just to kind of, you know, get specific or whatever, but no, this one was, um, this one was up there. Like, oh my gosh. I sat down with this thing and I watched it. And um, DC does a legit job of origin story. And if they had just followed true through like MCU did by putting the individuals first, establishing them, I really, really think that they would be 
you know, almost neck and neck with. Uh, so and- to so to correct or confirm what you're saying is that when they do an origin story, they do it well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because they did not do it well with Cyborg, the Flash. Cyborg did not have an origin movie. Right. That's Flash, what I'm saying. When Flash they do did not have an origin movie. So yeah. Yeah. No, right. Exactly. Right. So when they do it. Storm Rage is saying that he is overpowered. Uh, Aquaman. I don't. So I, I've read a few of the comics. Um, I know Aquaman is like, you know, the redhead's a stepchild, it seems like, of the DC universe. Um, and maybe they have amped him up to like make him more appealing to um, comic book readers and moviegoers alike. I mean, they. They cast Jason Momoa, and I know there was a lot of conflict there because, you know, Aquaman is this blonde-haired, you know, white male, and, you know, diversity. It's very understandable, and, like, I, I, love, I love the casting, you know, regardless um, of color or race or whatever. Because, you know, again, Jason Momoa is awesome as uh, Count Drogo, but um, initially... <laughs> When I when we first started this thing, and it was all guitar riffs, because <laughs> you know what I'm talking about the very beginning of the movie, you know the the submarine gets hijacked by the pirates, and all of a sudden you know Jason Momoa is going in there or Aquaman, and he is just wrecking right. Art. And I'm not I'm I'm excluding by the way like the actual like origin beginnings of where this where this goes. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. But this is actually the or, like the very beginning of uh, Arthur as you know uh, Aquaman as we know him in the movie. Um, yeah, it's a lot of like I'm gonna punch this guy and this guy punches me and there's a good all of a sudden there's like a guitar riff here and a guitar riff there. I'm like, what is this movie going to be? You know. Um, right. When's the last time you watched this? Uh, it was on TNT randomly a few weeks ago. I originally saw it when it came out in the theater. Fantastic. Yeah. Storm Rage, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I think you said. I think you said you might have seen this movie. Um. But um. So yeah, you know, he's wrecking through the submarine and stuff like that. He's wrecking through the pirates. Can I um, can I correct Sturm real quick? Sturm, you're saying that yeah. he's overpowered. Um, if you watch Justice League, he can't hold down Superman worth a damn. He is and he does have super strength. He does swim super fast, and he does talk to fish. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool. He was super lame at first, but with this particular actor that they picked out. And how the movie went, even with the other movies without his origin or whatever, his single movie that we're talking about today, and he's he's pretty badass. And he is, cannot stop Superman. Superman is, as you can saw, he had all the Justice League just like they were pieces of crap just in front of him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, um, what was I going to say? Oh, and if you really want to see how true badass Aquaman is, play Injustice. Um, Storm Rage is saying that, uh, just talking about the power jump. Uh, to be a intermediary in this one topic, I can see what he is saying because yes, Jason Momoa or I keep I'm gonna keep calling him Jason Momoa. Jesus, Arthur, Arthur, Aquaman does seem to be a little more jacked in this universe. Um, in comparison to like you know obviously how he's been portrayed in like the Justice League cartoons or. In the comic, in the the old comic books and stuff like that, you know, um, everyone in this universe, I think, and that that's a, that's the thing about DC is uh, while Marvel is a little more grounded and it's like power set, and obviously we're starting to get a little loose with grounded because now we're entering into the cosmic realm and just otherworldly, you know, uh, ideas of like how powerful things and beings can be. Um, DC has always been like this fantastical thing where like everyone is super ridiculously like overpowered and that's just kind of like it comes with the territory Um, I mean they have Superman so I mean he's a cheat code 
I've always said that about him. That's why I've never really liked the character. Um, that's why I really, really like Batman in that universe is because he is not like this ridiculously overpowered man. He uses his brain. Like he uses his, he is just a brain. man. He literally is just a man, you know, like, you know, uh, with a boatload of money. Um, you know, there, 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 there's something to be said about like, you know, getting like, you know, a little overpowered, but like, that's case in point. Like, you know, when you have a fish man, um, totally taking out submarines and stuff like that, you know, he, he, they could have easily made it to the point where he's just like crashing through that thing. Like there are points in this movie where like, you know, he's, uh, he's pretty much, uh, taking the task. What? Oh, uh, Stern Rage, Tony Stark or, or, or Bruce Wayne or Batman, no prep time who wins Batman. <laughs> yeah. But uh, unfortunately I, I, Batman would win that. Um, you have the world's greatest detective. Stark is richer. Stark is richer by Batman. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Iron Man has a freaking suit. I don't, I don't want to go into that. We're trying to talk about the Aquaman movie. Um, I do. No, I'm just But yeah. <laughs> um, so Aquaman, the origin story, like, I think is like, is pretty, pretty cool. Like the idea, you know, how, um, oh gosh, At- Atlanta, Atlanta, <laughs> not Atlanta, Atlanta At- is basically, Atlantis? uh, found by, uh, Tom, Tom Curry, which is, uh, Arthur's dad. And again, so many stars in this movie. Gosh, Nicole Kidman. I was already. I had forgotten that she was even casted in this movie. Um, and then you had Boba Fett or Django Fett, whichever you want to call him, um, as Arthur's dad. I'm like, clone trooper. Huh? Clone trooper. Yeah, um, yeah pretty much a clone trooper or whatever. Um, but you know they're. You know, they basically <laughs> fall in love. They have they have a son, and you know, according to like the underwater species, that's a pretty pretty bad thing to have like a half breed and stuff like that. Um, I had forgotten about William Defoe. Like William Defoe is like if you cast him in a movie, it will be good. Like he will do his oh yeah damnedest to make sure that like I think his acting just like heightens everybody else and like i have always loved him it, like ever since i first saw that dude in boondock saints like i was like yep this guy is uh this guy is gonna be one to watch um really really loved him as um norman osborne would love to have you him never catch me the, spider-man uh, would definitely love to have him back in the uh mcu if, if possible oh he's but, uh, he's confirmed he's gonna be in spider-man I, 3 everyone is confirmed in that thing i know I, I'm, I'm like really got <laughs> starting to think like they're just trolling everyone be like dude this person's yeah. confirmed this is i'm like let's just get to that movie you know i'm not doing, you know <laughs> stop confirming everyone there's not enough time in a movie like this is this is turning into like a three-hour movie now um <laughs> yeah it pretty much it is oprah passing out roles um so yeah you had that uh, and on that you know on that semblance you know you had the origin story of like you know arthur and then atlanta was basically to save her family on land she had to return back to the sea because she was betrothed to the king down there um you go forward in time so i like i i've always been i've always liked when they do like a backwards forward backwards forward kind of motion in um like origin stories because like like don't tell me like this entire origin story i'm like i'm like already getting tired at the very beginning of this thing um this one like really really cuts to the chase like you know it gets to you know uh aquaman you know jumping these pirates who are attempting to take over the ship and then i already knew who the villain was in this movie like it was black manta boy like so they kept showing this one pirate guy and i get it like they are trying to show that he is the bad guy I was like, who is this guy? I, I kept looking him up. Like, am I supposed to know who he is? Is he like, you know, was he like, you know, this awesome, like bad dude in like a whole nother movie that I just have not seen yet or whatever. Like, oh, just, he's a bad really, sure. really showcasing him or whatever. 
I'm like, mm-hmm. is he like an R and B singer that I, I don't remember or whatever? Like, what movie was he in that I don't he, know? Is is he one of the boys to men or what? I, what is literally, I thought I was like, why do they keep showing? Golly, this? They, they literally like kept <laughs> um, framing him, just like look, look, this guy, and I'm like. Okay, you're, dude, you're just a pirate. Like, he's, what is this? He's the main, he sings the main theme song for this movie, like uh, Seal uh, did for uh, Batman Forever. <laughs> oh, I can't forget L- about that. I have to L U L U L U L that. Oh, oh well, I can't do it. I, I like <laughs> I like that term. Anyway, serious. <laughs> so back, so back to the movie. Like, you know, again. Patrick Wilson is in this movie. I was like, dude, I loved you in ATM. Holy crap. Like, who is not in this movie? And then the king, King Nereus. And I'm like, it's, I kept looking at this beard. I'm like, who is that guy? I'm like, oh Drago? my God. Drago's in this movie. Freaking Dolph Lundgren's in this movie. And like, you know, again, you know, I'm not trying hey. to coat. I'm not trying to coat this movie as like oh it's all about the stars in the movie it's not about the plot or the or or the uh, the, the storyline by any means or whatever i loved i'll just say right now i love this movie this movie was like i can't wait to watch it again to be honest um you know they obviously have the setup you know it's a war against like the land creatures you know stop polluting our oceans um, appreciate you sir huh Later, buddy. Appreciate you, Sturm. He's yeah. going to listen to us tomorrow. Yeah, definitely, man. Love you, buddy. Go Canada. Um, oh, Canada. So, yeah, like, they've got all this, um, these stakes, basically. Like, you know, you, you see, like, the chess pieces start to move on the board. You know, Patrick Wilson, like, apparently King Orm is, like, making a placate to be the, the ocean master, which I was like, okay, that's that's a new term. I'm not as familiar. I thought there is a lot of lore in Aquaman that like after this movie, I was like, man, I, this is probably a black spot in my comic comic bookdom. You know what I mean? Because I have, oh, like, yeah. I have no, I'm like looking, I'm like, really? Black Manta is like, is that the baddest guy that they could have picked or whatever? Because I mean, I've seen him again in the Justice League um, cartoon and I'm like, that guy the dude with the big over the the really like large head or whatever this is the bad guy this is the big bad that you picked to uh, go oh the super friends arthur yes yeah super yes. friends well, i keep calling it the justice league cartoon yeah the super friends um he he was always in the seats with all the other villains in the legion of doom in that swamp yeah. meanwhile in the legion of doom <laughs> meanwhile <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so like you know we, we find the origin of Black Manta in this movie also. Like, you know, he's a mercenary. He's a pirate or whatever. And um, Aquaman has no mercy for these guys. Even, like, when he uh, the dad's about to pretty much drown. Uh, God, the way he went out was... That was gangster, wasn't it? Heck yeah. Like, he's like, get out of here. And just, he's like, no, like, you're going to drown. And he all of a sudden, he busts out with a grenade. And he's like, get out of here. <laughs> I'm like, dude. Right. All right, well, that's where you're gonna go. I mean, he was he pretty much shot a grenade launcher at Aquaman. I mean, can you blame Arthur for like leaving? I mean, sure. Come and on. That's what I wanted to say, like to it earlier, is that like, yeah, Aquaman may seem, you know, overpowered a little bit in this movie, like compared to like our perceptions of him. But you're right, like um, Black Manta's dad shot a grenade launcher, and he that hurled him back in in, in the uh, torpedo room like you know a good several yards and he was dazed for a few minutes of course you know he kind of like huffed it off or whatever and then took care of business but um yeah I, I i love the whole introduction of like you know arthur is a badass um he doesn't give two s's of anything um and he goes to the bar, has a drink with his dad, which is funny. I love that. Um, his dad can still drink him under the table, apparently. Um, <sighs> and I'm trying to remember, like, the next part. But I think I was so overly smitten by Amber Heard in this movie. Like, 
she's my new like number one. Like she's powerful good too as a Lord. character. Maybe it's just the fact, yeah, Mira. Like you know, you saw snippets of her in Justice League and Justice League Snyder Cut and stuff like that. You're like, okay, you know, hot babe. She can totally, you know, decimate if she wants to and stuff. How they were so creative with her powers in this movie, I almost for a second was like, can we have a mirror movie? Because I'd watch that. Some of the set pieces that she did, like, you know, her ability to manipulate not just water, liquid, you know, um, is what uh, got me. Like, you know, there was that moment where they're finally launching like the initial attack and there's that tsunami that overtakes. Uh, she can Arthur manipulate and, my uh, liquid. <laughs> nice. Very nice. I like that. I don't know. That would, that oh. might, that might hurt to be honest when, I, when, when you think about that. You, <laughs> careful what you wish for, man. Uh, hey, ow, ow. <laughs> what are you doing? No. Um, but no, like, you know, sh- um, during all that ruckus, you know, Tom and Arthur are thrown underneath the waves. You know, Arthur separated from the truck. And so they, they find Tom and like he's like, you know, unconscious basically or whatever because he's been, you know, drowning. And she like manipulates all that water like out of his lungs and stuff. That I thought that was cool. Like, to be honest, I was like, you know, you could do nothing else in this movie. Just keep looking pretty. Um you know, I've already seen her powers from Justice League Snyder Cut, so I kind of like knew what her abilities were. But I was like, okay, um, not to cut, like we're gonna cut, you know, swaths through this entire movie, like jumping from here to there. I think, and that's just how we do things. But let me ask you this: We're gonna since we're jumping, literally about to jump in this particular scene. How did you feel about them? And I understand Aquaman, he's strong. It's sand. She's probably strong too, I guess. But they she, they literally jump out of a freaking plane. Yeah. I mean, I guess it just comes with their super strength. Yeah, and like, I imagine like as... So they do show the how where Atlantis was initially. Like it was this advanced right. civilization that came way too big for their britches. They were like, well, let's try this thing. And that part of the movie kind of felt rushed to me because it was like okay so we're establishing this nation oh it's sinking and i'm like okay well well (laughs) totally did not endear me to these people but i get it um i really wish we could have spent about you know 30 seconds to another minute about what's going on but you know i understand in the desert No, no no just the setup of atlantis period before they it ever sank and so over the course of time, they've obviously evolved. And I imagine that like, you know, you're swimming underwater. That would make you pretty strong. You know what I mean? Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, like the idea <laughs> that was actually like interesting too. yeah. When they jumped out of that plane, because they're basically they're in search for um, the like the ultimate trident. It's uh, King Atlan's trident. <clears throat> and apparently that's supposed to bring. Like that, it's it's meant for like the one true king. You know, we're we're all about finding like the big head honcho of every like, you know, like it was it Lord of the Rings. We were trying to find the one true king. You know, even in this movie, same thing. Got to find the one true king. Um, and it's always a king who doesn't want it. You know, they don't want the seat, but apparently they that that is that equals them being deserving of it. Um. So yeah, like I said, like we're gonna cut back and forth just to close off on mirror really quick mm, yes yes what she does in that italian town <laughs> when like you've got the uh that underwater um troop or whatever like i, I don't know if you call them a hit squad or anything like that just the troops from uh from Atlantis or whatever coming to basically capture her or basically kill them at this point in the movie. And she crashes through this like uh, winery, um, this wine store. And she's like, she turns around and just looks and she's able to manipulate the wine and turn them into daggers and just completely impale 
all her all her assailants, which I thought I literally was like, oh my god! I thought that was probably the most badass thing in this movie. They are called Atlantean shock troopers. I remember her saying that shock trooper. I was trying. I was looking it up. Just like to the ones from confirm. Halo, right? The ODST. Uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, terrible game. Anyway. Uh, I, I I think it was interesting that they can't they have to have a suit with water in it and then he breaks mm-hmm. it and pretty much they're done yeah right and then Dude. the one guy he survives by getting in the toilet yeah. getting his face in the toilet <laughs> oh that was so funny he's just like uh, 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 and I'm like uh, 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 oh there's a toilet or whatever and... it's like it's like Joe Pesci looking for liquid to take the fire out of his head from what Pokemon it, Two would it have been bad if it was like I don't know. Oh, it would have been. Oh, was it flushed? Well, not even just like, I don't, you don't have to have like, you know, floatings or whatever. Just like the idea that like, maybe put like a, uh, one square toilet paper in there. You know, you never know. That makes, you know, the idea like maybe. With a little stain on it or. No, nothing. Just like maybe it's been used. Maybe it hasn't. You don't know. Um, yellow. If it's yellow, make it, let it mellow. Right. Just. What? No. (laughs) What? No, what I'm saying is a little, uh, little yearn in it, you know? He's that uh, desperate. I, oh, God. I mean. Rated yeah. R. Yeah, I know, right? That, that would, yep, that would have. Uh, Just because of that. The that would have curse. jumped the shark, let me tell you. Um. Oh, jeez. What did you think of uh, Mantis? Flush that joke away. <laughs> okay, you literally had to think about that one for like. Cool no, I was waiting there. for you to. I was I was waiting for a, a <laughs> point of uh, interjection there, just to make sure I can. What say did you something. think of uh, Manta's uh, little origin thing? I loved it. It was cool. I know it was short and sweet, but I love the suit. I like how it changed his voice to oh, yeah, Black Manta, and he just like the beam just almost destroys freaking Aquaman. It's amazing. When did they? When did they, I guess, just clue us in that he was this technologically savvy? That he was basically well, Tony Stark of this universe? He's he's like a terrorist, so he's probably technologically savvy in weaponry. So okay. he's building a weapon. And also, they gave him the technology to do so. No, I get that. So there that. could have been a point... Okay. Oh, I get that. No, I understand. Like, you know, he's a terrorist. Like, probably he knows some gadgetry. But at the same time, I'm like, he's given a another, I mean, technically an alien race's um, technology. And all of a sudden he knows how to, like, transform all that stuff into a suit. That was probably the literally the only port in the movie where I was like, wait a minute. Like, when did you get that smart? Like, I don't know. That 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 just seemed like, I don't know, a little off to me. Maybe, like, I there was something that was done or said earlier. Because um, I thought, like, initially he had, they had stolen that prototype, uh, that Manta uh, um, submersible, right? I'm asking right. the question, to be honest. I, I re- I'm not trying to be, like, smart. I really am, like, uh, trying to understand how... Or when in the movie they're like, hey, this guy knows like how to make shit. Um, oh, you're talking about for the movie and the audience. Okay, I think I'll, I, I, yeah. I have to recall it, to be honest with you. I'm actually doing that right now as we speak. But um, he is an excellent swimmer and has access to advanced technology. He is great okay. with hand-to-hand combat and proficient with weaponry, okay. such as a sword. So I, I, they may have failed as far as a, you know, per, you know, for the writing of that in the, in the, or having a scene of explaining yeah. that briefly, or they may have, I just missed it. I, I have to relook at it. I could have swore someone did research on him in the movie mm-hmm. explaining who he is. Yeah. And that was, I mean, ocean master do that. Like he wanted, Oh, let's get him to kill Aquaman for me. Like type of, and honestly, scene. I would have liked, it seemed like black Manta was kind of like this side, 
you know, it's funny because he's like his number one arch enemy, em, enemy, right? Right. But it yep. seemed like Ocean Master slash King Orm was actually more of the actual antagonist in this movie. Like, you know, as his, you know, full-blooded, you know, Atlantean brother, um, you know, th- through the same mother. Um, oh, we have an after credit scene to explain further on, though, for Black Manta, which is great. Yeah. Did you I, watch? I, yeah, no, I watched that. Okay, good. good. You know, I was like, okay. I mean, I figured he wasn't. The way he kind of went out in that fight, boy, like, by the way, <clears throat> that weaponry is boss. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, I, I mean, there were moments where I was like, I know that this shouldn't be the end of Aquaman. But at the same time, he was ripping him to shreds with that, you know, high energy beam or whatever. Um, until, you know, the Aquaman bells won't like, be ringing after that. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, I know. It's for the, whom the bell tolls. Um, right. He, I mean, it's funny because like Aquaman, it just seems like in this movie Aquaman like will get toppled at times. Like he will like the 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 person he's fighting with, you know, will eventually get the upper hand. But for the most part, he's like, okay, that's enough. I'm kind of done playing with my food. Let's do this. And the only person he really didn't do that against was like King Orm. Um, you know, right. they had the uh, the the battle. The, the 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 challenge for the throne basically which i thought was right. kind of cool because he's like well like you know they're basically like oh this is going down we're gonna have this big challenge it's gonna be in the ring of fire he's like yeah let's do this what's the ring of fire what's that <laughs> again jason right. momoa like does a really really good job of like this laid back arthur who like he's just been this land dweller and he's been bestowed with all this like human strength and power and he's just like whatever you know he's so like beach bum kind of guy he's still helpful to everyone that he comes across that you know is deserving of it but you know you know there there are the moments in this movie where like even you know they're they're trying to um tell him like you know you were kingly you were gonna be the king he's like i don't want any of that like you know i don't i like i you know, I don't want this. Like da 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 da. Like he's so mad at, at the Atlanteans because you know he had, he had accused them of killing his mom. Um, at 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 Lan, <laughs> at Lana. At uh, at Lana. Um. But yeah, I mean, it, it comes to the forefront. We're finally like, I guess they finally like cue in through his like kind of thick brain that just like you know hey like this is not just about you this is not about me like they are coming on to the world to destroy your people too like you know you're you are of this this world but you're also of that world as well like you know if this war occurs it's going to destroy both your worlds basically and i think that kind of, kind of finally comes through to them um i love the fact that there's atlantean steel in this movie which it's so it's so uh I don't know, vibranium-esque oh, type. Yeah. Like, it's, it's you know, I, I, and he happens to have a knife. Black, uh, Black, Man, uh, Black Manta has the uh, knife. And I love that adjective, by the way. Cuts. Vibranium-esque. Like, yes. You, you know yeah. what I mean, right? No, like, I know exactly what you mean. that that yeah. has to do with and it's... this particular universe or this movie. Mm-hmm. I just, oh, yeah. You always got to have a, a type of of metal that's just almost indestructible like some type of material that like is unique yeah. to like their race or something right um no it was that that was like the the way they forged weapons you know is very very old school you know the iron works and stuff like that you know as they forged the the uh, ultimate tr- the king atlan's trident i keep calling it the ultimate trident um, the ultimate <laughs> But um, it really was though at the end though. I mean, no, the way totally. he was actually able to turn it like a freaking fan, that was holy shit. I, <laughs> to segue from that, I love the fighting in this movie. Like there was a lot of underwater stuff that I was kind of like, how are they going to do that? You know, it's a lot of, you know, as you know, former swimmer, I'm like, well, you got to turn really fast and. 
everything in water is a little slower. And I get that these are all like superhero characters and stuff, but you know, right. like when you're trying to fight underwater, you don't exactly like, you know, fall down. You kind of just float. You know what I mean? But they do right. a really, really cool job of like, sh- like being creative, like of the fight scenes and like using the entire space. Like, you know, it obviously uh, the Ring of Fire takes place starting off on that pillar, but then it obviously breaks away from that because they're practically all over the place. Um, kind of, I got, I found it a little odd that like the audience is watching this and they're like so like, you know, anti Aquaman already, like. I don't know, maybe, I guess, you know, the the murmurs of Aquaman and this half-breed or whatever just, like, is well-renowned through the peoples, and, boy, they were giving him some crap. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, this is Rocky in, uh, in Russia. Um, <laughs> you know, Dolph Lundgren oh, watching on the side, too. Th- there's, like, a point to where all the, the whole crowd is, like, they're looking at each other. Yeah! Like, it was a big... You know, I forgot what happened. I think the water went away, then it came back or something because Amber Heard got, or the Amber Heard, but Mira got involved. But it's, no, uh, it's what, just it, funny what how it occurred is work. they basically just like crashed into each other and it caused a oh, huge okay. shock wave. Right. And everyone was like, right. uh, and then like it stopped for a minute, not a minute, but like a moment. And then everyone was just in this huge uproar about it and they were having a grand old time watching, uh, you know, their future basically being decided like below them. Right. Um, that battle though, the, uh, the overall war. Oh yeah. Okay. The, that was going under sea. Oh my gosh. It was perfection. How it all went down and it, it was beautiful. The color in this movie, the brightness yeah. of Atlantis. It's just, well, you don't see that. And also like, I didn't realize how many more races there were, there are there. Because right. you had mm-hmm. like you had the brine people, you had the fishermen's, you know, the fishermen people who looked like Price more like Fisher fish. Price. No, I'm just kidding. What? I would actually believe Fisher that Price. if you kept the, if you kept that. Like, yeah, the Fisher Price people. Oh my gosh, bring in bring in Mattel and Hasbro. Come on, let's go. Um, heck yeah. Oh. Um, but oh. Oh, go ahead with it. Go ahead and continue with the how Sorry. they utilize, like you know, like all the sea creatures to their, you know, as their either companions or as like warriors. They fight side by side, or their steeds that they ride upon. Um, didn't know those uh, underwater dinosaurs were still alive in this movie, though. <laughs> it's so it deep in the like ocean, ocean I, masters. There... Like, let's do this. No, not to be. So scientific or I guess factual, but isn't it true that we have only discovered probably maybe ten or twenty percent of the ocean or the water? I think it's like five. So, no, is it five? Is a low number. Yeah. yeah so it's super it's, low. There's a ch- There's a chance <laughs> megalodon and all the yeah. Crazy there was there was things. no megalodon in this. Like, yeah. So, that was. But boy, was, there was a a kraken like creature. I don't know what you call that thing. It was a. Uh, Carathon is her name. Yeah. yeah, and it was a crab and a squid and a everything, man. It was a combo. Super powerful. Yeah. Well, like Aquaman you know, could not do shit. So the idea is that, like, you know, there's this place called the Trench in the movie, which I was oh, like, okay, gosh, yeah, I was about to bring that up. The, yeah, the Ariana's Trench, and that's where you had like, what were those people called? You know what I'm talking about? I don't. Like I was. Those, I was. I knew exactly what you're talking about. I couldn't. I couldn't find it. Creepy zombie-looking people. Um, speaking. Speaking of, I, I totally didn't even like. I wanted to talk about him first. This is a James Wan movie. He directed this movie, and I was thoroughly like surprised, like because I've only known him from like Saw, the movie Saw. That was his. I, I yeah. saw that one Wan movie. Nice. And, like, there are bits and pieces in this movie that it's like, okay, he, that's very, like, old Juan. But, like, the the direction in this entire movie, I thought, was, like, you know, it was was pretty well done, in my guestimation. Um, again, I, I enjoyed it. Was, it was a fun ride 
throughout the entire um, movie. There are parts in it, again, that were, like, a little too quick for my taste. I don't know. Judging how, like, you know, WB is and, um, um, like, with DC and stuff like that, you know, I can I can see, like, that they shaved a little more off. I mean, it's a two-and-a-half-hour movie already. Um, but, um, yeah, the, the Carafin was there. Um was that the name again? <laughs> I was Carafin, like, yeah. they kept saying the name. I'm like, just say it. Just stop making another name. It's a Kraken. Come on. Just call it the Kraken. Release damn it. the Kraken. Yeah, just call it the Kraken and get it over with. <laughs> and that, that huge monster was guarding the... Ultimate. <laughs> the Ultra. <laughs> um, yes, King Atlan's uh, trident. Um, that was uh, meant for rightful king of Atlantis. Um, while we've talked about all of this, we kind of have talked around the one thing that kind of made Aquaman Aquaman. Side note real quick. Sure. They're just called the trench. They're okay. just called the trench. Yeah. I would try my best. And there's nothing in there. They are The trench are a sightless, nocturnal, and viciously monstrous subspecies of Atlanteans. I mean, that, that actually makes it more creepier because the way that they were portrayed in the movie, you would have, like, these these creatures that would, like, come up on the boat. Again, they're trying to hunt down the uh, the trident. They went to the trench, basically, and I thought the trench was a place. The idea now that the trench is not just a place, but it's also the people, the beings. It's not a place. There, it's a people. It, it's, it's a people, <laughs> yeah. That... <laughs> It's all those things. And, like, the way that they had kind of moved and, like, you know, coalesced. Like, when um, Mira and Arthur, like, were diving in the ocean to, like, you know, hunt down and track down. Uh, basically, they were the last steps leading to the, the, to the trident. Um, it was insane how, like, it was, they were the ocean. Like, that's how ridiculous um, this race of monsters was, um, but, um, what was I saying? Listen to this vicious cannibalistic ocean dwelling creatures. That's just beautiful. and so scary at the same time. And how dark it was. Did they have like a, what is it? A flare? Yeah. That was going down with them. It was yeah. just like you said, they just devout. They were the ocean. Yeah. There was no water. It was just yeah. them. Light like is piranhas what, uh, or something. Light was their weakness, pretty much. So, right. Once they kind of figured right. that out, they're like, okay, just grab this flare that can glow underwater. Sure. Sure. Um, but yeah, again, it'd be going all around it. The power that makes Aquaman Aquaman. Um, his ability to talk and speak with the sea creatures they kind of oh, okay they kind of showed it at the beginning with uh <laughs> at at the uh the aquarium when he was a little kid oh right right, right um right. didn't understand why that shark all of a sudden just got pissed I, I i was like is that shark mad because they know that he's an atlantean and so they're gonna try to get back at these bullies who are bullying arthur and other other thing bullies come on let's you know let's 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 look for more creative ways to um bring out abilities rather than like bully them out of a kid or whatever um not saying that bullies don't exist they do like it sucks but um sometimes it seems like movies will go to that route because it's like the easiest um easiest path sometimes most relatable unfortunately no yeah i mean like i'm not again i'm not saying that it's it it's not there i'm just saying like i see it there's way gotta be another there. way there's gotta be <laughs> another way yeah and so like he taught basically he talks down the shark from like nearly crashing through the uh the aquarium uh wall um and again, I was like kind of confused there because I'm like, is this, is this dude, does the shark know that he's that? Is he trying to come to the rescue or is the shark just pissed because there's kids there? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But later on, yeah. So he's there 
at the bottom. Like, so they come across his mom, um, played by Nicole Kidman. She looks great. Oh my God. It's ridiculous. Like do actors and actresses never age? Like I need to become one of those. Um, well, before you go into that in depth, remember the joke that he said to Mira? We're not really a joke. Just like, how did you know to do this? They end up in a freaking whale's mouth. Remember, he talks to the whale, open, whale opens mouth. They just hang out to hide out, right? Because their ship got destroyed in the lava or whatever. Or mm-hmm. happened to crash in the lava. And then they, they find they're in Italy or no, Sicily, right? Or where were they at? Sicily, I think. Or Italy. Same. Same. Maybe not the same thing. Anyway, so <laughs> she randomly finds Pinocchio. Oh, you did a book. Oh, I saw it in a movie. I was like, wow. That's yeah. just great. I love that. I love that. I mean, but yeah, going into that's what uh, you were going into that Nicole hits Kidman. around the head, and honestly, he wouldn't have done that if he didn't. He wasn't able to uh, talk to the uh, to the undersea animals. He's the one that told the whale, and he actually had that conversation with the whale a little bit, right? Um, but yeah, um, his mom, uh, Atlanta, um, she's still alive because you kind of knew. I was like, they did not have this like five star actress play this role for like two minutes she's gotta have be alive still or whatever because this case it just kept it was all like you know like hearsay like oh yes they banished her you know yes she died da 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 even king orm was like oh she died blah 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 and like they it just seemed like whenever they mentioned about atlanta atlanta it was like i'm gonna see her again aren't i like it's either going to be in some sort of like Obi-Wan ghost manner or it's going to be like she's alive. She just somehow got out of it and she got out of it. Um, I can't imagine how she got out of that because holy crap, um, uh, Arthur and Mira barely got away with the skin of their teeth pretty much. But oh, she's got the experience probably. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's very true. Um. So yeah, she tells them she's like, you know, the tri- trident's over here, but it's being guarded by the Kraken. You know, Car- 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 Karen. Karen. Yeah. <laughs> Karen. Karen is guarding the dragon. The, uh, the, That's the basically trident. what happened, folks. Aquaman just said, don't be a Karen. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> just let me have the trident. <laughs> finish this. Come on. Um, so they're like, if you can just pe- get past the Karen... You know, be fine. And so, like, Arthur is, I guess, making his way to, like, this throne where King Atlan is apparently just stuck there and Rigor Morn is holding the uh, the trident. And you see, like, all the tentacles come out from behind him and stuff. And I was like, what is, what is that? I'm like, and at first I was like, oh, dude, tell me this is, like, I wanted it to be Cthulhu so bad because I'm still in this weird, like, Lovecraftian mode. Oh. Jeez. Cthulhu. But I was like, well, if it was Cthulhu, that would have been the end of the world. <laughs> Let's not go there. Right. But I was like, okay, it's this Kraken, Katharan, Karen looking creature or whatever, which I was like, what is this thing? It's it's there's there's claws and then there's tentacles and like it's it it's a it's an ugly son bitch, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh yeah. But So she was talking, you know, she's just like, you know, she's like, you know, men have tried, you know, to to get the trident of uh, King Atlan, you know, all this time and they have failed and they all think that they're worthy of being the next great heir to the throne. Da, 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 da. And she's just like talking. And I, I guess she didn't register that Arthur didn't was was understanding everything that she said. Because it right. was kind of weird. I was waiting for this huge epic battle that was about to occur. And then it just kind of stopped because she's like, wait, you can you can understand me? You can hear me? And He can talk. He can talk. He yeah. can talk. <laughs> I can sing. <laughs> no, I can um... sing. <laughs> That's such a great song. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Help me talk to say this. Um, Dr. Sears, Dr. Sears. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh gosh. Um, 
I'm gonna have to use that as a uh, <laughs> as a hashtag. It's been so long since I've seen that. Um. <laughs> so yeah, she all of a sudden she and then she made like this weird random comment. She's like, you know, go ahead. You know, no one has tried to, you know, has been able to um, take the the trident from the grasp of the king. You know, they, all who have tried have failed. So you're telling me that like even though you were there and you were decimating these ones who thought they were worthy, there were a few that got through, but he, they weren't able to, you know, unhook it from this dead man's uh, hands. Right. So I'm like, okay, at least someone's, some they people have got it probably. Out. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> uh, he wasn't King Arthur, you know? Right. But no, oh, that, that, I think that's what he was named for too. Um, that, and, that's and was, probably. And the, and the hurricane. Um, but she says she kind of mentioned she says that uh, oh yeah you know like try try to try to get it out of there but if you can't you know I haven't feasted in quite a while I'm like so you're just you're not gonna fight him but like if he can't get this thing you're just gonna eat him okay that's that's kind of you know that, that's what a monster would do I guess but boy I love I really liked how they just kind of cut to the chase this was not um. Thor trying to lift Milnor in the rain with Hawkeye, you know, hovering above him. This was just like a movie another hour. (laughs) Yeah, I know. I'm like, oh god, he's not gonna be able to get out of there. Then they're not gonna figure that out. Merit's gonna have to come and da da da. Um, no, he just rips it from that dead corpse's hands, and that thing just like evaporates behind him as he's just like wielding all this new power and stuff like that. You know, he gets your he gets the the orange scales that we all you know know Aquaman for. Right. Um, his appearance in this movie, by the way, completely awesome, completely badass. It's completely Jason Momoa, so much so larger than life. He is stacked. I mean, he's bigger than his own bodyguards. You know. Yeah, that's so funny. I love. I still love that picture. Every time I've seen, I've seen that picture several times, and I'm like, "Yeah, he just has no idea what the the uh, idea of bodyguarding is actually when he has two bodyguards that are literally smaller than he is." <laughs> but yeah, with that uh, with that trident, he totally takes it back to uh, King Orm, um, well, who you know at that time was in the middle of this, you know, Lord of the Rings esque, you know, battle royale with like you know. The seven armies just clashing. Heck, I didn't know that uh, the king, uh, the Brian King, was John Reese Davies. You remember that name? No. You gotta look it up. You have my axe. Oh, really? Oh, was he the guy that was uh, the crab guy? Yeah, he was the he was the Brian King. Dang, man, he's uh seventy seven. And I was like, that, that would make crazy, sense. And, and, and the battle to end all battles under un, under the sea. Um, under the sea. He, I was like, yeah, that that's fair that, that he's in this. Um, but again, Aquaman, like, you know, while they're in the midst of like, just, you know, this seafood smorgasbord, the ground starts cracking underneath everyone. And like, you know, as Aquaman would makes his grand old entrance riding <laughs> the Karen, the Karen and completely decimating and just put it he put his thing down. I'll just say that. Um you know So did his so did his dad to his mom, that's for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah that's that's <laughs> that's right. Um, and then, you know, come to find out, you know, like he takes care of business with King Orm and that, in this huge fight, um, dismantles him with the trident, you know, uses that spin move that Volko taught him all those years ago. Um, and then Atlanta comes like she you know, finds her way back as well, along with Mira. 
and Orm is like, wait, what? Like, you're alive? Like, which I have to rewatch the movie again because, you know, not just, you know, because I like the movie a lot, but didn't he, I guess he wasn't the one responsible for putting his mom or like, um, Banishing his mom to the trench. Is that right? Who was that? I, I, I have to watch. It's been a, like two months since I watched that's it. I should have watched it before this, but. That's the one thing that, like, really kind of, like, you know, I found myself um, chasing in this game. In, in this game. In this movie was just <laughs> the. The placement of all the. The the different underwater races and who belonged with who. And, you know, we're talking like, not just, we're talking ancestors. We're talking about other Kings. And there were points in this movie where I was like, I don't know who you're talking about or which side you're on because now everyone's in fighting. And, um, but like, other than that, like, you know, ultimately, to kind of like sum up everything like i thought this movie was like again top six it like immediately shot up that high for me um it it has flavors of black panther in it with like the brother fighting it's got that you know that underwater um realm that you know it's so unique and what I've seen in other movies. How is the MCU going to like do Namor? You know, like it's going to have to be like a secondary character in someone else's movie. They can't do this. That's it's done. Well, Aquaman is the king literally. Well, of Namor underwater. I thought I thought Namor was going to be in Wakanda forever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying like it I, I don't know if that's confirmed or not. I think that's the idea because and, they mentioned that in Endgame. Uh, what's her name? Michonne. But it's Akoye. not her name. It's the God, Akoye. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we went Again. over that Tuesday. Akoye. Losing streak Akoye. continues. Akoye, Akoye, Akoye Chito. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so she says uh, something happened in the trench or something like that. Uh, and then Black Widow's like, "Did you check on that? Did I check on it? Didn't do anything about it. It's probably Namor." So, well, I just that that's like I was saying is that Namor is going to be like a secondary or a villain, or he's not going to be the main main character like Aquaman. So, well, Namor is not a good guy. Aquaman. He's not a good guy. No, he was a good guy in uh, Ultimate Alliance. <laughs> well, well, that's the thing though. Like, he's neither good nor bad. Like his. His um, aims are strictly for, oh, God, I'm going to get Atlantis. this so wrong. Um, yes, for Atlantis. Um, like, he cares nothing about, like, you know, and he's one of the original mutants, too, so. Oh, okay, he's a mutant, okay. Um, there's a lot that he's going to be driving if he gets introduced into the MCU, Um but that's for a later date. I don't want to talk about that. I do want to uh, conclude. Let's break Aquaman it down. Because, again, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't Aquaman mean to go was awesome. There. No, no, no. no. I, that's, that's fair. Like, I, I totally, that's that's totally um, uh, a thought project because it's like, you know, yeah. Like, you have Aquaman in, in one universe. You have Namor in the other one. They're not really one and the same, but you could kind of look at them like that through, you know, like right. tinted glasses. But at the same time, like, I think DC, you know, regardless of what the critics had said about this movie, they were saying a lot about stuff like, like, oh, this movie was, Nailed was, it. was too fast paced, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, you guys honestly, like, some, t- I think honestly, when it comes to DC, and it's kind of not fair, like, they don't get a fair handshake. They're not, um, they're always going to be chasing the MCU dragon. And so they are going to be victims of just never getting it right on the money with because they're always being compared to mcu right yes and i I hate that for for that for that uh for that universe but to hold it you know on a 
pillar onto its own, this movie was awesome. Like, I, I give it straight up a nine already. Um, there was nothing I didn't like about it save Manta, Black Manta. Again, I've only seen the movie once. Probably there are some parts in this movie that um, that like showcase him to be more of a tinkerer than I initially um, perceived him to be. Um, there was a little haste with, you know, hey, here's Atlantis. Oh, it's drowning. <laughs> and then here, <laughs> hey, Manta, here's some technology. Oh, I've made my suit. Let's go. There was a little haste in those parts. But other than that, man, I had a fun time with this movie. I really, really like endeared myself, you know, the way they directed it, the way they wrote um, Arthur's character, how, you know, you endear yourself to him, not just at a young age, not just at a teenage age, but as like, you know, a young man age as well. Like this is after um, Justice League because they made actual mention of Steppenwolf. Um, right. And so like, you know, and it, you know, again, I'm completely smitten. Mira was ridiculous in this movie. The creativity, how they utilized her. Um, and it seemed like no one character, like, you know, that wasn't purposeful to m- the movement of this movie wasn't underutilized. You had, you know, the father who he was in it, you know, for a lot more than um, Kevin Costner was in Man of Steel. I mean, granted, he died, but um, spoilers. But, you know, oh, man. <laughs> but he was there, you know, like same thing with uh, Atlanta. Like, again, I was like, there's n- she can't be dead. Like they keep saying that she's dead, but she can't be dead. And lo and behold, she's alive. And she kind of like, you know, was the glue that kind of like helped, you know, resolve things at the end. Um, but no, like. You know, there there was a lot to this movie. Like it was like a mini. I don't want to say a mini adventures movie, but yeah, there were so many characters in this movie that like you know got their little spot in the limelight. That I was like, wow, you know. Again, I don't a lot know. Of lore in Aquaman, so there's a lot of lore, a lot of characters you could use, and they used it very, very well. Yeah, I looked and I looked up. Uh, you know, I had to take a peek because I was like, okay. And you know what? That's that. I, that is a sign of a movie to me on how um, I feel about it, especially one that like you know has a continuing universe. Is that as soon as I this movie ended, I looked up to see if Aquaman two was coming out, like when it was coming out, because I was like, I want to see, I want to see this universe grow. Um, I hope they can execute better than you know. WW84 did. Um, not to say. I'm sorry, w- December 2022. Sorry. Okay, wow. So, yeah, it's a whole year and a half from now. Um, <clears throat> mm-hmm. Not to say again that uh, WW84 was bad, but like, you know, I, you know, with the heights that Wonder Woman hit, I was hoping for an even bigger hit. And it kind of took a step back a little bit. With this one, you know, I've got, I, I'm, I'm, I'll say it right now, I've got high expectations for Aquaman 2. Like, you know, maybe it speaks to me that again. I used to swim. I love the ocean. I love that world, like the the knowing and the unknowing of like what could be underneath the waves. Um, Godzilla, <laughs> the, the <laughs> Cthulhu, boy, um, golly. And that's the thing too is like I looked up the 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 villains and I was Pacific like, man, <laughs> like really, Black Man is like the big hitter that that uh, that Arthur has, and like I, I come to find out like the origin of those two fighting each other is a little darker, you know, than... Oh, um, gosh. I was just flipping through while we were talking. Like, there's blood stuff. Like, he cuts them up. Even yeah. in the most recent uh, series of comics for Aquaman, which I had... This is probably now three years old now, but... Yeah. Yeah, he... There's... The cover has, like, blood and stuff. I'm like, damn. Black Manta beats the shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so, like, you know, and I think this... Again, this movie was more about King Orm, his brother... Than it was Black right. Manta. I mean, Black, Black Manta was literally in it for like, you know, a sixth of the minutes, movie at most. Yeah, right. like you know, he was kind of like like this um, trinket, and the fact that you know, like you said, the post uh, the post credits, he's going to uh, 
be teaming up with uh, Doc Stevens Shin. Um, you know, we'll see how uh, how more uh, elaborate how they can extrapolate more of uh, Black Manta into everything. So, this um, movie made one point one four billion dollars. And of that one point one four billion office. dollars, I will give it nine sushi rolls out of ten. It's the highest grade I've given a movie, save Godzilla versus Kong, in my movie review. What about you, sir? I'm going to write it down a different way. I'm at the concession stand at the local AMC theater. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and order me a large popcorn. I'm going to go to the machine. It gives me the butter for me. Okay. If you're an AMC the uh, large... shareholder, you get it free. Oh, I didn't go over the price <laughs> of the popcorn and large uh, Coke Zero. Um, that's going to be $2,000. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It actually fell and went back up. But no, no, this is not a stock show. We're a movie <laughs> review show. So I'm going to the movie. I'm going to watch Aquaman. And lo and behold, my dumbass forgot a straw. That's what I'm going to give it. I still have my drink. I still have my popcorn. I have it where I like it buttered. Just forgot one little thing. And that's how I'm going to grade this movie. Just one little thing. Don't know what that little, little thing is. It's not perfect, but it was very, very good. Music, lights, Jason Momoa, Amber Heard. All the use of all the characters, I'm total agreement with you. I can't wait for Aquaman 2. I hope it is as good or better. Yep. Man. Awesome. I'm, I'm, I, of the movies you have suggested me to watch, honestly, this was probably like towards the bottom and again, you hit it out of the park. Once again, with your suggestion, um, Aquaman, uh, twenty eight. I know what I'm talking about, ladies go, and gentlemen. Go I know see what it. I'm talking about. <laughs> well, we are done with our review. We are closing the books on that. But uh, we're going on to our next segment, and that would be uh, the Royal Rumble birthdays. Some things down. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. So, what we do in this segment is a segment unlike any other. Here on the movie preview, we take the birthdays that are being captured this week. It was this week, I guess, of uh, Memorial Day. So it's starting May 30th through June 5th, 2021. We take our top 10 contestants, put them in a pit, and just see, you know, who would win out of them. Obviously, we're not going to take the actors themselves. We're going to be isolating, you know, a character that they have acted as and... Let them go. So May thirtieth. Oh. What? Nothing. I'm, just, I'm searching these just to you know set myself up. <laughs> so <laughs> May thirtieth, we have Idina Menzel. She'll be going as the Frost Queen herself from Frozen, the Frost Princess. Oh, I'll let it go. Oh, I know. Boy, they people will not let that thing go. No, they won't. Um, Keeps C on going. CeeLo Green is May 30th as well. CeeLo Green, forget you. <laughs> so, again, we're not using his... his, his um, music? His music, yeah. I was thinking CeeLo Green, <laughs> who voice acted as the mummy in Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> oh, that is gosh. his entry I'm, I'm <clears throat> glad to hear that because I did some research because I did look at the run sheet earlier today and I was like CeeLo Green man he's only had like one hit but he was in a video with uh, Goes Down that? in the DM I don't know who sings that but then he was and then you said just now he was a mummy I was like okay so he's still working he's still got things going on oh yeah 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 no he's he's still he was on the things. voice yeah I mean he I mean he was a was it the group Gnarls Barkley? So, like, right. Um, okay, May thirty first, Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry. Come on, 
get off my lawn. <laughs> and we also have Colin Farrell. Which miss? I never miss. Yep, Bullseye. That's exactly who the I greatest, was too. greatest Marvel movie of all time. He could have been. He could have been, and should have been, the next Tom Cruise, in my humble opinion. But uh, apparently, he was too uh, addicted to strippers. Anyway, June first. Re- recall that. Yes. <laughs> June first, we have Tom Holland. Happy birthday to Spiderman. Or Cherry on Apple Plus. No, we're it's going to be Spider Man. Let's just don't even don't even be don't be crazy. And uh, I, I'm gonna let you know this right now before I say the next two names. This will be the last two people on the board. Okay. You know what? I'm not gonna because say one that. of them is a god. Because both of them are basically god. I forgot. Alanis Morissette is because. Her songs never leave your mind. She takes over you. What? No, okay. go ahead. So, I guess you've never seen a movie called Dogma. She was God in the oh. movie. It's okay. a... It's okay. A, yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah. It's a uh, Kevin Smith joint. Um, Yeah, she's God in that movie. And so is Morgan Freeman in uh, Yes Man. Bruce Almighty. Oh, Bruce Almighty. Did I say yes, man? Oh, sorry. Yeah, Bruce Almighty. Another Jim Carrey movie? Yeah, I know. I was like, wait. I was like, that Jim Carrey's there, but no, that's not the right one. Um, <laughs> liar, liar. Yes. <laughs> Dumb and dumber. Confused with the guy in court. Mr. Reed. <laughs> June 2nd. You know, these are, um, unfortunately, the rest of the names that we're going to read off, they're, you know. Spock? They're just kind of like my go away. Wentworth Miller. He is, uh... Mr. Blizzard from the Arrowverse. Is that his name? Uh, no, it's, uh, oh my gosh. Not Mr. Freeze. I know I kept not saying. Not Dr. Cool. Oh man, now I gotta look it up. Oh. I'm gonna beat you. Ice Guy Arrowverse. <laughs> it had it on the tip of my tongue. He's in, he's in Injustice too. The heck is it? Oh, Fro- Frost? That's Frost. It yeah, that's, the... that's right. Frost. Killer Frost is a chick. It's not it. Captain Cold. Uh, there you go. Captain Cold. I was. There's your. I was getting warm, but uh, I was getting warmer, but I guess I got cold on it. You were just. Okay, you were just drowning. Um, right. Yes, Zachary Quinto, the new Spock. He's in this. And Dominic Cooper. That one. Who. Before he did Preacher, he was he was the young Howard Stark. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but for the sake, he were gonna make him Preacher in this because Preacher. He was, was in Mamma Mia as well. Him, so. Oh gosh. <laughs> so <laughs> June third today, the day we're actually streaming this sucker. Um, no one really. June four, Angelina Jolie. Let me look that one up real quick. I'm just kidding. No need to be salty about it, okay? Uh, I would rather be... uh... Wanted? (laughs) Are you kidding? Mrs. Smith? (laughs) Uh, Fina, sir. She's she's an eternal. No, I know that. I knew that. (laughs) I'm trying to think of movies that actually came out already. Salty. <laughs> she could be the two. Uh, one, she could be a Tomb that, Raider. Or wit that witch from uh, Disney. What's her name? Oh, Maleficent. Yeah, that's not bad. Like that's magnificent. Yes. She uh, she has a huge power set in that movie. Or huge. Just in yeah, huge. And then finally we have Mark Wahlberg. We're just gonna. He's just, he'll just be dancing in this corner with what? with Mark. I'm gonna do a Mark Wahlberg impression real quick. What? What you What? What? A prime? What you talking about Amazon Prime? What? That's exactly how he freaking talks, except for when he's in Ted. Okay. <laughs> no, he does talk like that. It's pretty good. Um, but like I said, yeah, everyone else kind of pales in comparison. You have God versus God. 
and both both of them are basically you know god so it's a tie this week um i think what say you sir let's see so you've got frozen you've got forget you so we're gonna forget CeeLo green he never turned his chair i guess clint eastwood um getting old he's using fake guns on his fingers now to get people off his lawn Colin Farrell, he misses now, so he'll never be missed. Bye-bye. Too many strippers, I guess. Tom Holland, we love you, Spider-Man, but he's a cherry. Uh, two gods. Can't go wrong there. And then uh, the rest of them, just meh. Ange- Angelina Jolie would be the closest, but still not enough to take God. I mean, per Zachary Quinto, it's only logical. So. Right, exactly. But yeah, quick to what? do. What do you mean, two gods? What? <laughs> Quick to do in uh, this week's uh, Royal Rumble birthdays, the winners, the co-winners, Morgan Freeman and Alanis Morissette. I like that. Yeah, when I looked this up, the I was president like, from up the Deep Impact. I was looking at the birthdays. And I was like, oh well, that this will be easy. Like that that there's no there's no contest there. So, well, that are all my segments that I came up with, sir. Um, do you have something for me? Good night, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going to do What's Me This Time. Josh's. Wait, that's me. Who said it? And the theme or edition is going to be a wet and fishy situation. Say it again. What kind of situation? A fishy and wet situation. All right. All right. You just let me know when you are ready. I'm ready, sir. Bring it. Burp, 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 burp. Bring it. Here we go. First one. There's total of five. Uh, okay. So let's do this. It's wet and fishy. Just got to keep that in mind. Here we go. Ben, tell me you love me. You don't have to mean it, but just say it. What movie? <laughs> we'll start off with the harder ones. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I got that wrong. Um, Beethoven. Uh, Beethoven. Think of. All right. Um, well, I already gave you the hints. Fishy and wet. This one is wet. Uh, singing, I will say singing in the rain. She, she gets wet. Seeing him, giggity. I don't know the notebook. I I will give you another hint. It's oh a psycho God. thriller. I'm not gonna get this, bro. <laughs> it's Erica Madison Bell is the is the uh, the character's name. It's she's a psycho chick in love with Ben. It's it's from 2002's Swim Fan. Do you remember that movie? Did anyone watch that movie? I did. <laughs> it was actually pretty good. And interesting. Ben is on the swim team. She watches him from a distance, and then all of a sudden they do it one time in the pool. Swim and fan. Swim fan. Look it up. I will actually seen this movie. I was like, oh, I guess, I guess he yeah, haven't. It's okay. She look up I movies with wa- swimming in it, and just like, oh, swim fan. That's a good movie. I actually, I actually have seen <laughs> that movie. It's, it's, it's pretty freaky. It was one of those unpopular, like, psycho killer teenager type, you know, movies. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Move along, sir. All right, next. You don't get this. Uh, well, then you need to watch that again. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> You're going to die an old, old lady. Warm in her body. Or warm in her bed. Whoa. <laughs> me whoa, <laughs> whoa. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I was thinking of the last film getting wet. But anyway, here we go. You're gonna die, old old lady, warm in her bed. Who said it? Oh, that was Jack from Titanic. <laughs> what did you do? Look it up? No, I knew exactly what that was. <laughs> Dang it. Die an old lady, warm in her body. <laughs> she pooped on herself. <laughs> I mean you do self. You know, poop yourself, I guess, when you die. I don't know if I heard that somewhere. 
Anyway, don't yeah, belong. Sh should be cool because she pooped in her pants. Well, pooping in your pants is cool because it's gonna be Davis. Here we go. Uh, God. And I like Vicky, and she likes me back, and she showed me her boobies. And I like them too. Who said it? Oh. And I like Vicky. Oh. And she likes me back. And she showed me her boobies. And I like them too. That is the worst Bobby Boucher impression I've ever heard, by the way. That's a water boy. It's not the worst. <laughs> His name is Bobby Boucher. Oh, okay. I have to watch it again. All <laughs> you right, here watch we go. these again, man. <laughs> All right. I, I would like some scotch and water, please. Hold the scotch. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. That's All right, here we go. Thing. Next. <laughs> I shall call him Squishy, and he shall be mine. And sh he shall be my Squishy. Who said it? That would be Dory from Finding Nemo. That is correct. <laughs> Very good. And last but not least, you should... I mean, really, I didn't do that too hard. I mean, the first one was the hardest one, if you think about swim it. Swim anyway, fan? How much money yeah, does a swim test. fan make? Uh, $32 million uh, to date. I don't know. I don't know. It, 32 is actually probably a lot. Wow, you actually literally almost hit that right on the button. 34.4. <laughs> Oh, they recently had another show. <laughs> oh, my God. It must have been an AMC because that's the only way it would have reached another it made eleven million in the op <laughs> It made $11 million in its opening weekend. That's strong, wow. buddy. Okay. Strong. <laughs> Swim fan. <laughs> I don't even I don't know, know these you people. Who, who the hell are you? <laughs> you don't even know who I am. Here we go. I don't know anyone on this list. All right, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Got to get concentrated all up in here. All right. Not like going down the pond chasing bluegills or tummy cats. This shark swallow you whole. Who said it? Oh, that was a good impression of Quint from Jaws. What? You got it right? What? Okay, <laughs> stop it. I'm never going to bring up Mark Wahlberg again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> My dials are all like going red every time you like start doing your Mark Wahlberg impression. <laughs> that Mark Wahlberg will swallow you whole. <laughs> oh my gosh. His Transformers movie was so key. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. That's all she wrote. Oh, you got only four five. out of five. Only five, huh? <laughs> yeah. High five. High, High five. five. Oh, man. My wife, but uh, yes, you got four out of five, and that's just because you haven't seen one of them. <laughs> yeah, oh. swim fan. Hey, it's it's wet. Okay, it's it's, it's a wet situation. <laughs> Did the, you like the theme? All the other movies, swim fan. <laughs> yeah, I love. Well, the I theme. was gonna do, I was gonna do Deep Blue Sea, but like I was having a hard time finding the the. Uh, I was busy. I was trying to find uh, Samuel Jackson's like quote, and uh, but he basically he gets eaten by a shark, and then Dave Chappelle yeah. makes fun of it. You know, I got eaten by a shark. <laughs> It'll get you drunk. I'll, you gotta say I'll, I'll have a Sam Adams. You know what? I have a Sam Jackson. Remember that? Sam. Remember Jackson. that Dave Chappelle? Oh yeah, no, <laughs> totally. Say, Bill Burr. Bill Burr orders that of all people. Bill Burr, like. <laughs> How little did we know it back then about the greatness of Bill Burr? Oh, I know. Breaking oh, Bad, all the stand ups. Man. Fantastic. But well, good man. job, brother. You got four out of five. Well, thank you. And good job to you, too, man. That was the uh, 14th episode of the movie review. We will be back again next week. What do we got going on next? We got no clue. Oh, I do know what we got going on next week. Um, Loki you know, locking in with Loki, bro. As, on as Thor's that, Day, that uh, comes out. Yeah, actually, that comes out the day before Thor's Day. So, which is going to be awesome. But yeah, it's going to be fresh. It's going to be new. It's going to be amazing. I will be 
done with clothes by then. So I'm really happy that that's like that's going to be the bookend of, of of some other stuff. And uh, we actually need to um, we may have to uh, double up again next week. Um, because uh, be going out of town soon. I think I don't know. But you uh, going to uh, go to Breaking Bad over there, or where are you going? <laughs> uh, going to Santa Fe. No, I don't know where I'm going over there yet. So. You gonna order that chicken from uh, that one guy? <laughs> yeah, dude. If there Breaking was Bad. a Puyos Hermanos, like I, I swear, after watching that show. I was like, I literally went to Popeyes every day and just like, this is as close as I'm going to get to like Poyos Hermanos, to be honest. Um, I don't know. Do you know of any like Mexican fried that, chicken? By places? the way, that that actual place does exist in that town. So Yeah, but it's not called It's that. just called something else. Yeah, it's not but called, it's called something else. So yeah, you should go there. Well, I mean, it's, a, it's quite a drive just for chicken. <laughs> no, I know. Don't chicken out. Just do it. Oh boy, there it is. <laughs> there it is. But yeah, I hope um, you guys enjoyed our DC double header this week with the uh, first WW eighty four and now Aquaman. Um, uh, I don't know. I think we need to. Uh, I, I kind of like doing the uh, the double ups because we just like get through it. You know, it's it's quick, quick draw, quick thinking. We just go. Um. And we're like, we've gone through this pretty fast tonight, so what you think, bro? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, I hundred percent agree. Just trying to dry off right now because <laughs> of the old you know all the wet jokes. Water stuff. Yes, exactly. Through the old slip. No, I liked it. Through the old slip and slide. Oh slip the slip slide. No, it was good though. Like, again, like, my mind is starting to be turned around a little bit on the DC um, products. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else uh, DC-wise that uh, I don't think the I missed out on. Suicide Squad. Oh, you haven't watched Shazam. I know you haven't. Yeah, Shazam I haven't watched yet. Birds of Prey I haven't watched yet. So Oof, Birds of Prey is way better than Shazam. Um, I'll tell you that already. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I'm trying to think, like... There's some points of, of Birds of Prey you were like, okay. But overall, I think it's... A lot of people say it's the best DCEU movie. I disagree with that. It's up there, but yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a later date, if you wish. Yeah, we will talk about that on a later date. But uh, yes, this is the 14th episode of the Movie Review. Like, follow, and subscribe us, please, for my brother... At Josh Shizzle 2323, I am Charizard 81. This is the movie review. Go pop some popcorn and watch a movie.